Hey guys, TFB TV Showtime, last video of the day on Shop Floor. I'm here with Colton from CAA USA. Hi, Colton, thanks so much for coming on No problem, thanks for having me. It's been a long week. Yeah, it sure has. It's been a great week. We're excited. There's a lot of great things coming this year. Well, what's so great about this? So what's so great about this? This is our MCK Gen 2. Okay. Um, and we had a lot of uh, success, as you may know, with the Gen 1. Okay. Uh, but what we did is we listened to our customers and what they wanted. And we just made improvements in the Gen 2. Now, one of the first things we noticed right off the bat is the suppressor friendly. Something our customers have been wanting for a very long time, uh, ever since we released the MCK. Um, a year and a half ago or so. But I'll go over the advantages of it real quick, starting from the back, moving to the front. It's good. Awesome. So what you're going to see here is a new stabilizer, a Gen 2 stabilizer. What that does, it allows you to fold it. Um, if I didn't have the grass cutter on the way, I'd show you. But I can fold it, lock it, and still be able to shoot it and access my trigger, which is something, again, a lot of customers want it. That light package, being able to pull it out of the bag, deploy it, and then, if able to, no, so next would be uh, actually the charger here. Okay. And you just pop up. Yeah, that's part of our advanced kit. Um, which you get thumb rest, flashlight, and the sling, and the sling spoke. Um, but moving forward, actually we change our, our charging handle. So now, if you can get a little look in there, it's a bit higher. The reason we did that is it's now going to accept suppressor height sides up to 1.1 inches. So obviously we're running a suppressor friendly setup. We know a lot of guys who run suppressors on a handgun are going to have suppressor height sides. Right? It's actually also a charging handle that's grabbing the rear of the block in a different way and it's more secure. And um, another thing that we want to just improve on moving forward. Also, the gun door here. It's something that now opens up about 15 degrees, maybe a little bit more uh, out. So whenever I'm putting my gun in or out, it's not hitting my hand. Small things like that uh, to enhance the overall experience of assembly and disassembly. Also standard on the MCK Gen 2 is going to be the aluminum Pikachu grill. Uh, for those that just want the ruggedness and the durability and stability, it's, um, I think that in itself is a great um, advantage and upgrade to Gen 2. Also, over here, I'll put you on this side. Yep. The magazine here before was a more of a friction where you roll out your wrist. Mm -hmm. Now it's actually a magazine button and cache that operates similar to really any other weapon. So it's nice and out of the way. It's not good enough to wear. Thank you guys. This isn't coming out. Also, I should just go ahead and talk about this guy right here. This is our new brass catcher. Yeah. And it's only for the Gen 2 and it's sold separately, but for those that want to keep the range clean, they're reloading, whatever it is, just a nice little add-on. Before we do that, we have, of course, the suppressor. Um, the main thing that's going to grab your eye. So now we have a, a shroud and a plug that is able to come out and give you direct access to a threaded barrel. It will work with suppressors up to 1.38 inch diameter, which okay. is most handgun suppressors. Gotcha. Um, you guys, don't, this is a gem tag. This is just, yeah, just a, a display. Um, but again, most handgun suppressors are in that 1.3 to 1.4 range. There are a couple of oddballs, but um, I think we got pretty much all of them. And you have light too. Yes, we do have a light here. But uh, yeah, 500 lumens light, it's got a low eye and stroke setting. Just a great package. It's part of the these are available right now? They are shipping actually next week. And um, and yeah, moving forward, um, we have a lot of other new things coming out this year. We're working on a solution for all of you P80 fans. Um, CZ, we're going to dive into that a little bit more. Uh, I know there's a lot of CZ fans out there. This is another thing we're hearing. And the HK VP9 is something we're going to want to reach out as well. So I've got a lot of plans to expand and broaden our customer base. What, um, what's the price? Price is going to be retail is going to be two ninety nine on the base model, and it is not a firearm, so I can buy it in the mail, right? Or no? It, it is not a firearm. The MCK is um, just a chassis; it's not a serialized yeah. part. So exactly right. It's not needed to go through it. Yeah, and I don't need to worry about it. put my pistol in this and turn this turning into a short route rifle. It's not at all because it is a, a stabilizer. Right? Exactly right. So it doesn't reclassify the firearm at all, um, which again is. Great for us. We don't want to go through that hassle. Oh, yeah. 
All Thank right. You. Thank you so much, Colton. Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate it. And uh, this is the last video of SHOT Show. And I think we're both really glad that it's the yes, last video. Yeah, it's uh, ready to get home and get back to work. Absolutely. So, we'll do it. Awesome. Thank you. All right.